Hey there, this is Jeff. Wanted to take a little bit of time to explain selectors to you. If you've been around Kumu for a while or have read through the docs, uh, you've no doubt seen this listed both in the docs and in a number of places in the UI. Um, and selectors, once you know how to use them, are actually quite powerful and unlock a lot of features within Kumu. So um, let's dive in. First, let's talk about where uh, in the Kumu UI you can actually use selectors. Um, you can use it in the search. Uh, so up here, rather than just typing a plain text search, if you hit equals, you can then follow it on with a selector. Um, if you open the settings tab um, within settings, if you want to add a showcase, you actually supply that by typing in a selector. Um, and then also in the filter tab, um, you have the also include and the but ignore fields. Both of these accept selectors. Um, so before we show you some examples of actually using them, let's switch over and actually learn a bit more about how to write a selector. So this is a selector, right? At its most basic, it's a combination of a field, an operator, and a value. This is essentially a selector saying, hey, uh, we're trying to select anything that has the value consulting for the field primary sector. Um, each side is enclosed in quotes, so primary sector is enclosed in quotes, and consulting is enclosed in quotes, and the whole thing is wrapped in brackets. So that's the basics of a selector. Um, you can do different operators, things like greater than, so degree greater than 3, less than, less than or equal to, and you can even do uh, what we call presence or absence. So this would look for any element, connection, or loop that has a uh, value for the description. Well, this would look for any element, connection, or loop which doesn't have a value for description. Now that you have a sense of how to write selectors, I also want to show you a shortcut for um, figuring out if you get stuck, if you want to try to create a selector but don't exactly know how. Um, this rocket icon is your friend. And again, you'll see this in most places where you can type a selector. If you click it, this will actually build a UI that you can use to learn, okay, if I wanted to say um, select on primary sector, is, and in this case it's higher education, um, as I fill this out you'll see this code show up below and the amount of um, matching items. This is the selector, so we actually show you a preview of what the selector is. Um, you could copy this um, and then you could actually just paste it directly here with equals before it. I'm going to hit enter. We'll now select everything where the primary sector is higher education. You can imagine we could then go use this uh, if instead we wanted to set up a, um, a showcase uh, just paste primary sector equals higher education here, and we've activated that showcase. Um, one other location where uh, the um, uh, selectors become really important, let's remove this first, um, is actually in the map overview and or the descriptions. So you, you can build links as well um, using selectors. This makes it so you can do some neat stuff. Um, if I cancel out of here, you'll see if I hover over higher education, we highlight those. Um, if I click on any one of these, it'll actually select them. Uh, and the way this works, it's using the basic link URL, which, so if you think about how this normally works, right, um, markdown links look like a, uh, a label um, and then followed by a URL. And so in this case, rather than the URL, we're just typing equals and then a selector, and that allows us to create these links, uh, which can be a powerful way to help people organize um, the content in your map. No two, so selectors are used over and over again here in the advanced editor. So if you're using the advanced editor, what you're writing here is essentially a selector each time. Uh, and so make sure, take the time to get comfortable with them, ask us any questions if you get stuck, and make sure to check out the docs um, for the full guidance on all the different operators you can use.